Number one, there is an upcoming drama called Kill Me, Love Me. It's going to be starring Lu Shi Yi and Wu Jin Yan, and it's going to be airing on Yuku. It's promising to be as sadomasochistic as Love of Nirvana is, and I'll read you the, the description. The three kingdoms of Dayan, Xi'an, and Nanyu fought for many years, and the Weibei army, led by Murong Jinghei, the prince of Dayan, who is played by the male lead, who had excellent combat power, suffered heavy losses in the Western Yan army and returned to the court in triumph to receive a reward. But he was betrayed on the march route, he was framed, caught off guard, and the entire army was annihilated. The court is treacherous and the dark tide is rising. As the centre of the world, Paul Jing Hei never gave up on investigating the truth of the incident finding out who is behind the scenes, and comforting the heroic souls of the fallen soldiers. The dead warrior Mei Lin, who is played by the female lead, became the only dead chess on Jing's chessboard and revenge. Although Mei Lin is a dead soldier, he has a tenacious will to survive, or she rather, and in order to get out of the dark factory, she and Jing Hei launch a turbulent struggle. Jing Hei made extreme use of the beginning to gradually recover his sincerity. Maiden went from ignorance at the beginning to the beginning of love. In the conversation between the two chess players and chess pieces, the sadomasochistic love is deep and they cannot love, and it's based on a web novel. This drama is going to be having 32 episodes, and it should be airing sometime either this year or the beginning of next year. It sounds like they're going to be using each other, basically, and it's going to end up as a love story, but it's going to be pretty sick. One thing I've noticed with the sado, like sadomasochistic love stories like this, like these dark romance stories, is that one or more of the characters have a very valid reason as to why they're trying to trick the other character. It doesn't necessarily make it right, but it's justifiable. And that's like the really weird thing about these dark romances. Personally, I plan on checking this out. I've loved Wu Jin Yan since Story of Yangtze Palace. I loved him in the double. I love Lu Xi. Um, I loved him in... Um, ancient Love Poetry, and I hated him in Love and Redemption, but he's a brilliant actor, um, and I trust they're both going to bring their all to the role, so I'm really excited to watch this. Let me know in the comments below if this is a drama you also plan, check, plan on checking out. Again, you can watch it on Yuku when it airs. I would update you as I know more in the community tab on my channel. If you like my channel, please subscribe. If you like this video, please hit the like button below. Thank you so much for listening. Bye!